What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking by to be down here, Michael. On this Tuesday afternoon, uh, today is chest day, and uh, of course, we're going to do the normal warming up at 135. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we were out of school today because of snow, and they've already called it off for tomorrow. So, Get a couple extra days off. Uh, yesterday, of course, with, uh, was uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so we had that off anyway. So we're getting a little bit of a long uh, weekend. So it feels pretty good. Uh, anyway, we got 135 here. Let's go ahead and get started because, as usual, I'm ready to be done already. So let's get this done. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's get this workout going on. Again, we got 135 here. Uh, this warm up set's going to be a little different. Uh, in the past, uh, over the last, you know, short while, I haven't been doing like 10 reps uh, for my warm ups. I've been doing like sets of maybe five or six or kind of just whatever fancies me at the moment. But, uh, and this one here, I noticed. I kept going and I went ahead and did 10 reps on this first warm-up set. So, yeah, you never know what you're going to do until you're doing it, I guess. And uh, so like uh, like uh, the title says, of course, we're going to be doing chest and tricep today. And uh, pretty good workout. Nothing crazy, nothing that's going to blow your mind. But uh, still a pretty good workout overall. And uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, we've uh, had some winter, winter here over the last couple of days, and we've been out of school. Well, Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and Tuesday today uh, we had a snow day, and tomorrow, Wednesday, we're having a snow day. So that's kind of the way it is, uh, especially in these areas like I live in in the south, where, you know, there's a lot of back roads that don't get cleared off until you know, maybe days later when it finally melts. You know, your main roads and all that get cleared off and salted and all that by, you know, different people. And But uh, your back roads don't get it so much. So uh, I touched on that topic, I think, yesterday. Just to kind of clarify some things, because sometimes people up north like to kind of poke fun at people, but, you know, down here, but, you know, we can't help it. We have a lot of back, back, back roads. <laughs> so... Anyway, uh, so we're throwing 225 here. We're getting that done. Just a few reps and uh, 315. Now we're just warming up to get where we're trying to get to, and that's kind of the way I do it. Uh, you don't want to overdo your body, or you're not going to be able to get to that heavier set that you're wanting to do. And also, know that you can also mix your routines up. You don't have to just stick to light weights, a lot of reps, or heavy weights and low reps. You can mix it all together in one, in, uh, one workout. And a good way to do that is how I do this, uh, where I just do, you know, low, low reps working up to a high weight, which right here is 355. That's going to be where I max out today. Uh, and then on your way back down, you can hit the, you know, hit him for more reps and, and that. So you get the best of both worlds if you do it that way. So here you're going to notice I'm doing 355. And uh, something about the 355 is uh, a goal was to be able to do it three reps like I did many, many, many years ago. And I've done it three time, uh, three reps now uh, a couple different times. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, it's still a struggle, and my little arms are shaking. Like, uh, like a, anyway, they're, they're shaking like something. But uh, I got three reps there. And uh, the thing about that is, once I get to where I can do three reps comfortably, time and time and time again, then I can go up five pounds and start getting that. Hopefully, you know, three reps time and time and time again. And before you know it, I'm going to be hitting 400 or 405, you know, pretty quick. So, you know, it takes time. Progress takes time. I'm not all doped up on uh, drugs and, you know, performance enhancing drugs and all that stuff. So it takes time when you're a natural and I'm no spring chicken. 
So we're just taking it slow and easy and getting things done. And on this set here, you'll notice I went ahead and did another set of 355, which is pretty good, shaking like it. I got two reps, so that's pretty good. I was pretty uh, pleased with that. And uh, so now here we are, we're gonna drop down to 315. And, you know, I wanted to get, you know, eight, nine reps, but in the back of my mind, I kind of knew I wasn't because I wasn't really psyched up enough to do it. I wasn't really feeling that many reps, but uh, we go ahead and get five reps anyway, and I'm happy with that. Uh, not really, but I'll pretend I am. <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to get a couple more reps off in there, but eh, it is what it is, and, you know, uh, getting that high reps with that with that weight isn't always a guarantee with me. It's kind of hit and miss, and that's a work in progress. And uh, I left this in here just to kind of show you me kind of stretching out my arm. I'm feeling a little bit of uh, that weird strain or pain in my arm, just a smidgen, nothing major, uh, nothing to be really concerned about at this point. Just kind of stretching out, and I think I popped it there even. It kind of cracked and popped a little, so. Always feels good when that happens. That's what she said. So as you'll notice, we are going back down to 225. And this is going to be our final set of chest. And uh, then we're going to move on to tricep. So, and tricep is an interesting one today. Uh, it's not something that I've done very often at all in this, uh, the way that I performed this one. So, it's, uh, it, it was uh, kind of interesting to do this. Uh, and we'll see here in just a momento. Momento, do your credit kick there, Mike. And a thumbs up, there we go. So you're noticing this one today, I'm doing a sitting uh, French press, barbell French press, and I'm pulling from the rack here. And uh, I don't do these enough to really have my technique exactly perfect, but I do okay. Uh, sometimes my, my left arm wants, wants to uh, lag a little bit. You know, we all have that one weak arm, and uh, my left arm likes to be that arm. So uh, we threw some tens on there, so it was 95. Now did I put tens? Heck, I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. So we got to 115, so this sets 115. And then we're at uh, 125. And uh, that's as high as I'm gonna go on this because it's been a long time since I've really done these and I don't want to hurt myself too much because it does put strain and stress on my elbows and my shoulder. But I will do one more set of the 125 and we'll get another set of four as, as best we can. Again, I don't like to go too stupid with this because it does put a lot of strain on the old elbows. And uh, my final set is gonna be back down to 95 and we'll get a nice solid 10 reps here so yeah it was kind of an interesting uh movement to do i haven't done this in forever and really doing it from the rack like this i've probably done it maybe in my lifetime i don't know three four times at best probably so anyway it was kind of interesting to do it this way and uh, not too bad so yeah and a workout is this right here, as you can see. Not too bad, guys. Nothing too shabby. Nothing too shabby. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have another nice snow day tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy that. Sitting around doing nothing. Maybe a little housework here and there. So, anyway, guys. Have a great night. And don't forget, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. And uh, please, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. Bye. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it.